This is an important video to make. Sharing photos online has just gotten a lot more dangerous. Before, I used to always tell my students when you're taking photographs with a tablet or a phone, make sure that your location data or your GPS data is turned off. Now, with all the amazing advancements in AI, we have another problem on our hands. Image recognition. Image recognition has just gotten incredibly accurate. Let me demonstrate. Here I have an application called GeoSpy. Think GeoGuessr, but with AI built into it. Here I have a video which I've recorded by myself with my camera. Now to prove to you that this does not use any of the EXIF information or GPS location information part of this video or this photo, I'm going to take a screenshot, a simple screenshot. So let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this video right here. I'm going to take that video here. I'm going to take that screenshot right here. And I've got that right down here. I'm going to go ahead and save this as an image. So here at the top, I'm going to click on share, add to photos. So this screenshot is now part of my photos. I'm going to press play just to show you that this is indeed a video. So you can see it is a video I took by myself on one of my trips. So now let's jump back onto the GeoSpy application. I'm going to upload a photograph into this. Here I'm going to select the photograph. I'm going to go to my photos and select that screenshot that I've just taken. We're going to click on open and upload the photo. The AI is now going to go through this photograph and it's going to scan everything it can on that photo. Scrolling down, what you will see is a very specific description of what is found in that photograph. It also pinpoints the location. So here you can see, it tells me that this is in the country of Belgium, that is the city of Brussels. It even explains to me why it thinks that. So here an explanation, the photo was taken in Brussels, Belgium, architecture is there, the street signs are in Dutch, so it's picked up on all those little details. That means that now anyone with access to your photos, your family's photos, your student photos, can upload those photos, have them analyzed by AI on a website. Street signs are translated. License plates, number plates are translated. They're interpreted by the AI. And then you get a full breakdown of where this photo may have been taken and where you may have been at that time. This is an important message to share with our colleagues, with our students, in order for them to keep themselves safe. Make them aware that this is available. Make them aware that this is out there and they may think twice about sharing those photos or at least wait until they've returned from their trips or wait until they've returned from a location before sharing them publicly. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comment section below what are some best practice tips and tricks that you would share with your children, with your students, with your colleagues in order to keep yourself safe online. I also want to say a quick thank you to all our channel members. Thank you for making it possible to make these videos. If you would like to join our channel membership as well, find that join button at the bottom. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, that's the best way to support us. Click on subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of new videos and always stay up to date with the latest in EdTech. I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.